Britain is poised to secure a place at the front of the line on trade negotiations with the United States just more than a year after then-President Barack Obama warned the British about the future trade relationship if they voted to leave the European Union. British Prime Minister Theresa May's government hopes that Brexit and U.S. President Donald Trump's America First policy can avoid the pitfalls of protectionism. It's very important that we keep the United States uh, orientated towards an open free trading uh, approach uh, because it is the world's biggest economy uh, and what happens there will affect everybody else. So I think that directing the debate away from some of the protectionist noises into a free market rules-based debate is, uh, is a very important discussion for us to have. The talks are only preliminary. Britain has no authority to enter trade agreements until it is completely out of the European Union. And that is two the years away. But laying down the groundwork early is important politically, as the popularity of May's leftist rival Jeremy Corbyn grows, and so do concerns that a U.S. trade deal may mean opening up Britain's national health care system to U.S. firms. I'm not sure that uh, the British government is actually going to have the whole public opinion behind it in striking a trade deal with the United States. It could get very, very controversial. For the British, agriculture is a major sticking point. There are big differences between U.S. and British farming methods when it comes to the use of antibiotics and genetically modified crops, neither of which are welcome on British store shelves. In the important financial services sector, ties are already strong, and some believe a direct U.S. deal could mean more growth, says venture capitalist Rob Misselbrook via Skype. When you're dealing with the EU, uh, you're dealing uh, with the trade agreement. All these different pressure points come in from Italian winemakers to French cheesemakers to German auto. Uh, and so the, any pure, for want of a better word, or direct uh, agreement with uh, the U.S. can sometimes be hostage to elements like that. Dealing on a direct basis, it's us and them. We speak the same language in many ways. President Trump says he wants to move very quickly on a trade deal with Britain. The British went to Washington confident Trump and the U.S. Congress are on their side. Luis Ramirez, BOE News, London. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.